Okay, again, I want to welcome everyone to our webinar and conference call this evening. I'm T.C. Chambers here in Miami, Florida, and I'll be your presenter this evening. Uh, I want to take the time and welcome everyone who took the time to get on the, the webinar and call. Uh, if you're a guest on the line um, or on the webinar, one of our associates from around the country invited you to get on the, the call tonight because they felt the information that you will receive could improve your life financially. And you know that we're 100% absolutely correct. Uh, here at MyEcon, we've literally helped tens of thousands of families improve their finances all across this country. Um, our associates, their careers, their professions, so you get an idea of the type of folks that are in business with us and, and their backgrounds range from stay-at-home mom and dads, educators, bankers, nurses, doctors, firefighters, federal agents, sales professionals, servers, bartenders, business owners, and everything in between. And whether they make minimum wage or whether they make six figures, the one thing you can guarantee that they have in common is the pain that they feel on payday when they realize how much federal and state income tax has been taken from their checks. Now, most people in the past have felt helpless because they thought it's just nothing they could do about it. Well, as you'll find out this evening, You've always been able to do something about it. And uh, we're going to give you some, some tools and some information that you can apply that literally will be able to give yourself a pay raise, typically a $200 to $800 a month pay raise in the paychecks off of your job, on your jobs. That's going to be a result of strategy and not sales. One of the models we use here in my econ is strategy trump sales. And as I go through this overview, you'll clearly understand that. Let's start off talking a little bit about the name My Econ. My Econ is short for My Economy. And the reason we named the company that is because every single person on this phone tonight, every single person all over, millions of Americans all over this country are the CEO of their household. And they are solely responsible for the success or failure of that economy. If they are not making enough money, they don't have enough income coming into their household, that means they merely need to look in the mirror and say, boss, you need to step it up. If they have enough coming in and they're on track to hitting all their goals, then they look in the mirror and they say, boss, great job. My econ, we consider ourselves the personal financial success company because that's what we do. We empower people with the skills and the knowledge and the encouragement to obtain personal financial success. Now let's talk a little bit about the company itself. It's a 12-year-old debt-free technology-driven company based in Atlanta, Georgia. We've helped our associates cash flow, increase their take-home pay in excess of $400 million in recent years, and we're just beginning. And that number is super important because it would, it would do you no good to know how much revenue the company made because you can't spend that money. That would be like you focusing on uh, the income of the company that you work for knowing that it doesn't impact you being able to take care of your family. Let's talk a little bit about personal financial success. Our company's mission is very simple but powerful, and that's to empower people to obtain more personal financial success. And personal financial success is nothing more than having enough income or enough cash flow to support one's lifestyle during their working years as well as during their retirement years. Now, the source of income from those two periods are uniquely different. Here's what I mean. During our working years, our income typically comes from our job or our business. So the labor we put forth to make money in our jobs or our businesses or a combination of both. However, during our retirement years, the income has to come from assets that we've built, stocks, bonds, retirement accounts, i.e. 401Ks, 403Bs, TSPs. They have to come from a real estate portfolio we might have built or either residual-based businesses. But bottom line, it has to come from products or assets that we've put cash into, time labor into, that brings us more cash. In fact, it brings us that cash with us no longer having to work. See, the one thing that's going to happen either voluntarily or involuntarily, at some point in time in your life, you're not going to want to work anymore or won't be able to work anymore. Now, it's very important to think about that gap between working years and retirement years because the strategies that you use during that period determine your goals. 
being able to hit it, being able to become financially independent or retire. Here's what I mean by that. You hear and people talk about retirement, and they'll say things like, well, at 62, I think I'm going to retire. Or in 2031, I think I'm going to retire. Well, God willing, both of those thresholds will come. But neither one determines whether you'll be able to retire or not. More specifically, what one would need to know is how much do they need in their investment portfolio? How much do they assets need to be worth or valued in order for them, those assets to pay them all the money they need to be able to live comfortably during their retirement years without having to work? Now, for example purposes for our overview tonight, let's use $50,000 a year. Let's say a family is determined that they can live off of $50,000 a year during their retirement years. Well, I maintain they're going to need an asset or portfolio are worth about $600,000. Now, if the investment portfolio yielded them just 8% return annually and they never touched the profit, never touched the principal, that would pay them $50,000 a year without them having to work. Now, there's two important things about that. One, that income continues to come in without them having to work for the rest of their lives. And two, it then can be willed to their children or their grandchildren or their great grandbabies. They can be put in a trust and then divvy it up as they see fit and they, they want guidance for. Now, $600,000, why is that important? Because during that period of working years and retirement years, your buying habits, your spending habits, your saving habits, your investment habits will all determine your ability to reach that $600,000. So let's keep that $600,000 in our mind as our target. And let's talk to some more about America itself. Now, there is no shortage of money in America. America is the wealthiest country in the world with this net worth of about $97 trillion. And I imagine everyone on this phone will agree that there are millions of Americans that feel they aren't giving as much as that $97 trillion as they'd like to have. Our wealth accounts for about 25% of the world's wealth. And here in America, it's the home of 540 billionaires and over 10 million millionaires. Now, that would be wonderful news if everybody was getting as much of that 97 trillion as they wanted. Everybody was happy. Everybody was getting willed the money they needed, was willing their children and grandbabies all the money they needed, but that's not the case. See, here in America, there's another side of that story. 80% of Americans struggle financially. Now, that's whether they make minimum wage or they make six figures. See, if we're keeping it real during this conversation, we know that there are some people that make minimum wage that live paycheck to paycheck, and we know there are some people that make six figures that live paycheck to paycheck. And most people's definition of struggling will at least be evolved around paycheck to paycheck living. 69% have less than $1,000 in savings, and only 4% of Americans attain financial success. Now, that's a different picture from the previous slide where you're talking about $97 trillion of wealth, America being the wealthiest country in the world. Why are so many people struggling in the wealthiest country in the world? Let us take a look at it. There are several obstacles that have a major impact on our lives during that gap between our working years and our retirement years. And unless the masses become very familiar and equipped with combating these obstacles, then still millions of Americans will continue to not be able to hit that threshold of retirement. So let's look at these four obstacles, and then I'm going to talk quickly about a fifth one that sneaks in there on us. First one is limited income and inflation. Inflation is nothing more as how than how we measure the cost of living. Simple as this. Ask yourself, with inflation growing at about 2% a year, you and the people around you, your family, your friends, and your colleagues, are you getting 2% or more pay raise every year? If the answer is no, that means inflation is outgrowing your money. It's outpacing your money. So that means your dollars each year have less buying power. That's the first obstacle. The second obstacle is that pain I was talking about or referred to earlier, and that's the taxes that get taken out of your check even before you get your money. And IRS, or most people look at it, it's about a third of most Americans' W-2 income comes out of taxes before they even get their paycheck. So you have less buying power and a third less money to be able to live off for the month. In order for many Americans, millions of Americans, to keep up, 
They rec- they're required to put their groceries on their credit card, their gasoline on their credit card, their entertainment on their credit card, their utilities on that credit card, resulting in thousands of dollars of interest payments throughout the year. Now, these first three take up so much of their cash flow that there's very little to no dollars left to save or invest towards retirement. In result, less than 69% of Americans have a, a 69% of Americans have less than $1,000 in the bank. 4% ever reach retirement. Now, let's talk about this fifth obstacle, and we play a big role in that. Our grandparents, our parents, and even ourselves, if we're parents, we're responsible partially for this fifth obstacle. And that's big business getting too much of our dollars. So your dollars have value. Your dollars earn you money, earn interest. And as interest gets interest, and that interest gets interest. So it has significant earning power. And that's why there's so many financial institutions and companies and businesses work as hard as they can to get your money. But unfortunately, our grandparents and our parents and us, we're guilty as well, as well have taught those ahead before are coming after us to give up their money voluntarily, to look forward to giving up their money. People ask all the time, why do the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poor? Because the poor and middle class rush to give up their money. Every time they hear the word holiday, Valentine's Day, because of poor thinking, because of poor buying habits, because of poor emotional habits, the poor and the middle class rush to give the businesses, who are the rich, their dollars for flowers and chocolate. Easter. We've trained our kids from two and three years old that every Easter they're supposed to either buy clothes for themselves or buy clothes for their kids, which is giving up valuable dollars to the rich. And those dollars are not going into your 401Ks, your 403Bs. Those dollars are not going into eliminating debt or keeping from going further into debt. They're going in the pockets of big business. So I want you to imagine this. Imagine every holiday you bought your child a CD, a bond, a stock, as opposed to an outfit, as opposed to every Memorial Day, every Fourth of July, every Labor Day, you bought your child a stock, a bond, or CD, or yourself if you don't have children. That would change your entire financial blueprint. That's mentality. That's understanding the game that's being played. Let's go a little further. What helps solve those obstacles are two things. One, cash flow. And two, financial strategy. See, if you look at some of the folks that have been multimillionaires, some of the athletes, some of the entertainers, multimillionaires, and then we hear stories about being broke, cash flow wasn't their problem. Financial strategy was their problem. And then we know all people, we know many people that kept their nose clean during their working career, worked 20, 30, 40 years, put some money away in their 401ks and their investments. And when it was time for them to walk away, they didn't have enough money in their retirement account. Cash flow was their problem. So now, we help people solve those four and fifth obstacles by giving them more cash flow to support their lifestyles during their current years, because that's what they need to obtain financial success. They also need more cash flow to invest to build passive income for retirement or financial freedom. So they need that cash flow to buy stocks, bonds, max out their 401ks, 403bs, TSPs, invest in some real estate, invest and build some residual-based businesses. The strategy we use in MyEcon is known as income shifting. Income shifting empowers our associates to generate cash flow in five different ways. Now, why is this important? Because most W-2 employees, in fact, millions of Americans, whether they're minimum wage earners or six-figure earners, when they have in their mind they need more money, they automatically think they need to do more work, work associated with more dollars. Well, I'm here to tell you strategy can give you more dollars, and it doesn't require more labor. So you think about it this way. Many of you know, and I'm going to give you an example that many of you can relate to. We have friends and we know someone that owns a salon. Let's say it's a female. She owns a salon, and she rents out maybe five of her chairs to other stylists. And that gives her a certain amount of income coming in that she doesn't work for. So now, in typical W-2 employee, 
decides that they need another thousand dollars a month coming in, they think, can I get some overtime? They think I got to work a part-time job. They think maybe I need to get another degree that's going to give me, allow me to qualify for another position that's going to pay me more money. Again, labor associated with cash. Now that that salon owner understands that she earns about five hundred dollars a month cash flow of every stylist that works in her shop or her salon. So what that owner says is this: business owner says, "I need another thousand dollars coming in a month. I need two more stylists working in my shop." So her additional thousand dollars didn't equate to her doing more labor. So you have to think differently. She had a totally different strategy. That's why strategy is very important. Now, let's take a look at income shifting strategy. See, it's vital because if you look at the top part of this slide, Americans lose a third of their income to taxes. Now, most people think they're helpless and they can't do anything about that. That's 100% incorrect. You can absolutely do something about it, and you always could, except millions of Americans just didn't know. It's not secret. It's not loopholes. It's just basic law and basic principles. But if you, don't, if you weren't taught, you don't know them. So income shifting shifts valuable dollars from taxes and puts it back in the employee's paycheck. And we use that as a part of a strategy to help them improve their financial blueprint. Let's take a look at the five new cash flow streams that we empower our associates to get. The first is correcting tax withholdings. The second, minimizing taxes on business income. The third, generating business income. Fourth, debt elimination. And the fifth, creating passive income. So now we're going to look at each of those briefly, correcting tax withholdings. Now, we know this one is vital because the IRS says 80% of employees have too much money withheld from their paychecks for taxes. That's 100 million W-2 employees have too much money withheld from their taxes. Now, that gives you an idea, 100 million people. That's minimum wage. That's six-figure earners. Pick an age group. Pick a color, pick a religion. They're all included in there. 100 million people. Last year, statistics came out that the average return was just around $3,100. That's almost $300 a month that employees overpaid each month in taxes. Now, the problem with that is employees lose money when they do that because of something called ROI, return on investment. Again, your money has value and you have to put your money to work for you. Now, let's take a look at it to understand just how simple this is. That $300 extra that got withheld from your check goes to the IRS. The IRS takes that money and invests that money each month, all of your money, they invest it, getting compound interest month after month after month on your money. So they make all this profit on your money, and then they give you your money back with no interest. That hurts you. But more importantly, because you didn't have or the master didn't have that $300 in their paycheck, they didn't put it in their 401K to help them get to that $600,000. Because they didn't have the money in their paycheck, they didn't have it to spend instead of putting money on their credit card. Because they didn't have it in their check, they didn't have the money to spend to help pay down debt so that's less interest they pay. So there's multiple ways that not having that $300 in their check hurt them. And that's just 300. There's some that have 800 a month coming out of their paycheck. There's W-4s or pay stubs I've seen where there's people have six, 700 a pay period that come out of their check. And all of that money, month after month, 10, 20, 30 years of their career, not going into their 401k, not paying off debt is the reason why millions of Americans don't have enough in their retirement account. Well, in my econ, we are going to change that for millions of Americans because we're going to teach them another way. Now, my econ as well as the IRS says that our associates will be much better off by maximizing their take-home pay, which then can be used for eliminating debt, investing, or even enhancing one's lifestyle. Let's talk about the second one, minimizing taxes through or minimizing taxes on business income. So the second part centers around having a business. Now, we help people set up a home-based business because it doesn't cost very much to operate a business out of your home. You're already paying for the overhead it costs to have an office. It's called your house or your apartment, your condo, or your townhouse. Now, 
the one thing that the first thing that having a business gives you the ability to do is earn additional income. You see, that salon owner didn't have to do more labor in order to have more income coming in. She was able to use some fundamental business principles, one of which is called asset leveraging. In other words, that salon owner was going to gain the benefit of the time, knowledge, skills, expertise, dedication, relationship of those two additional stylists that were going to come into her salon, and that was going to increase her earning potential. Now, those stylists are going to make some money too, but it increased the revenue in her salon and helped her make more money. See, the company you work for, if they want to make more money, they hire a few more employees to do it. The CEO and upper-level manager doesn't do more work. They hire more employees. They utilize a business principle called asset leveraging. That's the first very important reason by becoming a business owner. It allows you to asset leverage. Second, business owners have access to more deductions than employees alone. But the caveat is this. Many of the expenses that business owners, or excuse me, that employees spend money on could become tax deductible if the employees become a business owner. Let me say it a different way. If you become a business owner, part of your lifestyle can become tax deductible. Let's take a look at what I mean. Millions of Americans purchased a car or truck for personal use. It's an integral part of their lifestyle, whether it's going back and forth to work, whether it's going to visit friends, whether it's taking trips outside of the city. Without a business, all those uses are personal, and none of the expenses associated with it become tax deductible. But the IRS says if you have a business and you use your business in conjunction with attempting to make profit in your business, then the expenses that you incur can become partially tax deductible. In other words, when you go to work every morning, if you don't have a business, none of those miles can become tax deductible. However, if you have a business, you can stop at Starbucks on the way to work, like many people do anyway. While you're there, talk to some of the people you see every single day when you stop there, or the barista, and ask them, have they ever thought about bringing home some additional income in their paycheck? Ask them any business-related question, give a business card, get a name and number, and now the mileage from home to that Starbucks now becomes tax deductible, and from that Starbucks to your job is also tax deductible. Drive from your city to another city to visit family. Talk to your cousins ahead of time. Let them know that you want to have a little business conversation with them about something that you're doing. So you schedule an appointment. Now the mileage there and back now becomes tax deductible. See, so Iris says if you're a business owner, you can choose to write your mileage off at about almost 55 cents uh, a mile. Or you can take actual expenses, which include tolls, oil, gas, licenses, parking fees, garage rental, lease payments, insurance on the vehicle, a percentage of the interest of a loan if you have a loan on the vehicle, registration fees, repairs, tires, or even a percentage of the initial cost of the vehicle known as depreciation. Again, you have the vehicle. If you have a business, it now becomes partially tax deductible. If you're like me, you're using Wi-Fi right now. You're using your cell phone right now. If you're a guest online and you're not in business, the only difference between you and I right now is that those two expenses of mine are 50% tax deductible, and those same two expenses of yours right now may not be, but by the end of the night can. Travel. Over the summer, many people traveled to visit family, took their kids to Disneyland and Disney World and all the amusement parks all around the country, took family vacations. Well, when you're in business, you don't take family vacations. You take business trips, and while you're there, you spend some time with family. While you're away on business, you do have some recreation time. Now, it's simple. The IRS has it mapped out in their publication to step-by-step -step how to do it. So it's okay if you don't know how to do it. My point is I want you to understand that if you're a business owner, you can. And that part of your lifestyle that you have right now, and that includes travel, partially can now become tax deductible if you become business owners with us. Now, let's talk about meals and entertainment. The IRS says that if you're a business owner and you have some individuals at your house and you have a business discussion, then the refreshments that you served your guests become partially tax deductible. Since you use your home for business, 
whether it's admin or hosting business luncheons or dinner reception, a percentage of your written mortgage now become tax deductible. A percentage of your utilities now become tax deductible. The same expenses that you have anyway. Now, I'm going to read something for you. Take one quick pause just on meals and entertainment because I want you to understand just how detailed the IRS is. Now, what I'm reading you comes from IRS Publication 463, Chapter 2, Entertainment. So if you're taking notes as a guest, write down IRS Publication 463, Chapter 2, Entertainment. Now, quote, what entertainment expenses are deductible? This section explains different types of entertainment expenses you may be able to deduct. Entertainment. Entertainment includes any activity generally considered to provide entertainment, amusement, or recreation. Examples include entertaining guests at nightclubs, at social, athletic, and sporting clubs, at theaters, at sporting events, on yachts, or on hunting, fishing, vacation, or similar trips. Entertainment also may include meeting personal, living, or family needs of individuals such as providing meals, a hotel suite, or a car to customers or their family. Much of that to me sounds like lifestyle. The last one I'll go over is wages. See, if you're a parent, you take care of your children. You feed them. They have little league. They have nice clothes. They do social things with their friends. None of those are tax deductible. But if you're a business owner, the IRS says that you can pay your children wages for helping you in your business. And those wages are 100% tax deductible you, and your children pay no wages on them. Now, if you're taking notes as a guest, I would like you to write this down. IRS Publication 15, that's 1-5. Now, it says, I quote, family employees, child employed by parents, payments for the service of a child under the age of 18 who works for his or her parent in a trade or business aren't, are not, subject to Social Security and Medicare taxes if the trade or business is a sole proprietorship or a partnership in which each partner is a parent of the child. So no, you don't have to have an uh, LLC. No, you don't have to have an S Corp or a C Corp. If it's a sole proprietorship, no Social Security or Medicare taxes are due. As long as you pay your children under $6,400 a year each, they pay no taxes on it, and it's a 100% tax deduction for you. So bottom line, as a business owner, thousands of dollars that you're already spending as a part of your lifestyle can legally, morally, ethically become tax deductible if you are a business owner and you follow the guidelines as prescribed by the IRS. We teach you and help you do all of that. Let's take, continue and take a look at our third income stream, business income strategy. See, here in my econ, we don't help people start a business just so they can save some taxes. We help people get started in business so they can generate five income streams, business income being one of those streams. So we want people to build a profitable business. We want people to make four-figure, five-figure, six-figure income in their business. So we provide them with a world-class business system that gives them the ability to do that. They get a personalized website, full e-commerce website, which now gives them the ability to do business all over this country. Now, Micon, our primary product, our flagship product is our financial success membership. That means Micon, we're in the membership business, similar to that of Netflix. Netflix is in the membership business. Their, their uh, members get access to a bunch of entertainment. We're in the membership business, like 24-hour fitness. Their members get access to gym equipment basketball courts, saunas, jacuzzis, and all those type of things, Pilates classes, yoga classes. Our members get access to a suite of products and services that help them improve their finances. Including that membership first, as you see, is the income shifting strategy. I already talked about that. First and foremost, that helps our associates shift valuable dollars back into their paycheck usually equating to a $200 to $800 increase in their take-home pay in their job. Now, the IRS has a couple requirements. One of the requirements is that you operate your business with a profit intent, which we wholeheartedly encourage and help you do. And the second is that you have to keep good records. That's why the second thing inside that membership is our cash flow manager software. This software allows you to, with the 
your smartphone, your tablet or computer, keep meticulous records easily from your cell phone, tablet, or computer. Detail on expenses, income for your businesses, multiple businesses exactly from that same software. It also gives you the ability to do a, a detailed budgeting and debt elimination strategy to include an investment strategy. ID theft protection, it's a billion dollar industry, so if you're improving your finances, you wanna be protected from someone trying to pull you back by doing criminal acts. Now, free and discount legal services. You're going, to have, you're going to need consultations with a lawyer. It may be for a speeding ticket, consultations with a lawyer because you may want to set up a trust. Those initial consultations are free. You may want to get a will. That will is free. Now, credit education services. In my econ, credit is a very important part, we understand, as a person's, of a person's financial blueprint. So we have a do-it-yourself system, 26 videos, two and a half hours of step-by-step -step instruction on how to build stellar credit. It's an education system, so it does more than just remove some items from your credit. No, it gives you a full understanding of the five components of your credit and how you yourself can impact all five of those components. Four rounds of dispute letters. So everything you need to do it yourself, and it's included in that membership. Discount travel and corporate perks. So if you're gonna travel, we're gonna make sure you do it in, in a discount way. So you're going to be able to travel first class, but at a lower, smart, economical price. All of this comes piled in that membership. And again, that's geared towards our associates. Now, the same way that 24-hour fitness has additional income streams, i.e., you could take a Pilates class that doesn't come with your membership. You could get a personal trainer that doesn't come with your membership. Those represent additional income streams for 24-hour fitness. You can buy a T-shirt. You can buy a mug. You can buy jump ropes. That doesn't come with your membership, but it represents additional income streams for that 24-hour fitness. Well, in my econ, that website represents a digital vending machine in the sky. So in addition to our flagship or our core product being our financial success membership, we put all of our company's products and service on every individual associate's website. So now their website becomes a digital vending machine to take care of the consumer needs of millions of Americans all over this country. Let's take a look at what some of those products are. See, we have a powerful retail strategy. See, some people are going to want to just buy the products and services a la carte. Just like, you know, the cable companies, they, have you, they allow you to bundle. You can get local, long distance, internet access, cable, phone, all of those things in a bundle package. Or some people choose to buy it a la carte. Well, you can do the same thing, or our, our customers can do the same thing. They can choose to go to our website and buy ID theft protection at $7.99. It comes with a million-dollar service policy. That's half of what you hear advertised on the radio and see on the TV. They can go and buy our smart money system, which is to do-it-yourself credit repair. See, there are some people who pay $80, $90 a month to have their credit repair. Well, they can pay $99 one time and do it themselves. Cash flow manager software. So there's independent contractors, insurance agents out there, uh, realtors, business owners that need a, a simple way, a user-friendly way to keep meticulous records of their expenses as well as their income so that their record keeping is audit proof. The cash flow manager software allows them to do that and it's $10.95 a month. They can book travel. We have contracts with all the carriers across this country, this great country of ours. And we have a contract with Priceline.com. So if someone clicks on that icon on your website to book some travel, it's going to link them to Priceline.com. Everybody knows Priceline. They have a stellar reputation for providing wonderful service and great prices. So whatever your customer purchases from Priceline.com, they're going to be happy about it, and you're going to get commission on it. That's a win-win. Nutrition and healthy beverages. We have a merit of nutrition products from spray multivitamins to products that help with stress sleep apathy. Our healthy beverages include teas and coffees, whether it's diet teas or diet coffees or ones that give you energy with great ingredients from all over the world, like many of the products and services you find out there from other companies, except you have a digital vending machine. You can provide it all from one. Now, Cashback Mall. This is significant because throughout the course of the year, we as business associates and family members, we have routine purchase that we do, whether it's tires for our vehicle, oil for oil changes, whether it's groceries, 
whether it's toilet paper, the things we buy on a regular basis, clothes. Well, a thousand stores are on your website. Macy's, Sears, J.C. Penney's, Walmart, Best Buy, Brands Mart, Home Depot, Staples. Many of the businesses that we purchase on a routine basis from anyway, and more importantly, our potential customers purchase from anyway. So now by merely having this site, for those that choose to not get the membership to improve their personal finances and instead decide that they're going to be a customer of yours, they can go to your site, purchase from your site, and you receive commission on it. Now, fortunately in my econ, for all of our associates, we teach you to use the same concept and principles that help McDonald's dominate their industry to help Walmart dominate their industry. What is that strategy? Distribution is king. McDonald's doesn't focus on, McDonald's Corporation, the business, doesn't focus on selling burgers, fries, shake, Happy Meals. The corporation focuses on distribution. They focus on setting outlets. They have 40,000 outlets, 40,000 restaurants around the world that can sell all of the products that they sell. You take a look at a Walmart. They dominate their industry because distribution is king. They have tens of thousands of Walmarts all over the world that sell groceries, that sell tires, that sell golf clubs, that sell clothes. So as a CEO of your business, don't focus on ID Defender. Don't focus on the smart money kit. Don't focus on our tax record keeping software. Don't focus on travel. Don't focus on nutrition. Don't focus on the mall. Focus on distribution. Now, we make it easy. Here's what I'm talking about. So when someone comes in business at my econ, they're what we call a marketing director. Once that business is responsible for $200 of sales volume, commissionable sales volume, that could be merely folks going to their website and buying like they normally would buy anyway. That could be two individuals acquiring memberships based on your referral because they want to put an extra $200 to $800 back in their paycheck. Once that's accomplished, you're now promoted to what we call our first leadership position, executive vice president. Now you begin to focus on doing what Walmart did. Now you begin to focus on getting, making this, getting the same benefits of business that McDonald's does. See, now as executive vice president, any sales that goes through your website, you now get 100% of all the commissionable sales volume. So all those folks decided they didn't want a membership. They wanted to book travel through your site or buy any of the other phenomenal products that we have. You get 100% X sales volume. Now, you also, as an executive vice president, earn up to 85% on team sales. Now, let me first say, you never have to build a team. You can come into business, shift your dollars back into your paycheck. Use the income coming in from people buying from your website. Use that cash to eliminate some debt. That's going to give you more cash flow. Use that cash flow to then start building your assets, stocks, bonds, real estate. That's going to now bring you passive income. So you can obtain financial success without having to build a team. But that's not how Walmart did it. That's not how Netflix did it. That's not how McDonald's did it. See, we're going to encourage you and teach you to follow the successful clues that successful business owners leave behind. See, as you start sharing this information, not because you have to sell someone, see, in other business opportunities, you have to sell. You have to change someone's thinking about this nutrition product. Where they might not have been thinking about it before, you now have to change their paradigm to thinking it's the best product in the world. Everybody's going to want to buy it. They're all going to change their buying habits. That requires you to sell somebody on that. You need to recruit some people in those type of businesses because you need help selling all those products and services to be able to get some cash because that's your only source of revenue when you get in business with those other companies. In my economy, it doesn't work like that. See, as soon as a person gets involved in business, they get immediate cash flow by shifting dollars back into their paycheck. See, if you're a guest on this line, you either want to put $200 to $800 of your money back into your paycheck or you don't. I don't have to sell you on that. 
I don't have to sell people on that. They either see the value in getting that extra cash flow and in enhancing their finances, or they don't. If they do, then the company is going to pay you a $35 referral fee every time somebody sets up a membership based on your referral. If those individuals refer people as well to the opportunity, to the information, to the membership, the company is going to pay you $25 upfront referral fee because you're responsible for that volume indirectly. So you have unlimited upfront referrals from personal referrals as well as referrals from people in your base shop or on your team. Now, while this is going on, you are building a residual income. See, every time someone gets a membership, the company is going to pay you upfront. But also, as those folks keep their membership active, that's revenue that's coming into the company. So the company has to continue to pay you on that. That's no different than Netflix. Netflix has a membership for about $8.99. So they had to do some advertising, and they have some partners out there to help them increase their customer base. Those entities get paid one time. But then as those customers continue to pay their bill every single month, those are partners and those associates and those people responsible for those sales get paid over and over and over again. Well, that's what, that's what my econ creates for you. Imagine you build a team of 100 people that now shifted an extra $200 to $800 into their paycheck. Your team grows to 1,000 people. Now, let's talk about what happened first and foremost, most importantly. That's 1,000 people that, let's say, put an extra $300 into their paychecks, back into their household. That's $300,000 a month of cash flow that now can go towards investing, that now can go towards debt elimination. That's the financial impact you just had on that community, that group of 1,000 people's lives in the community around them. So you have the ability to get cash flow by shifting dollars back into your paycheck by adjusting your tax withholding. Cash flow by minimizing taxes on business income. Cash flow by building a business income. Now, we're going to take some of that money, in this example, $1,000 of it, and now we're going to rapidly eliminate debt. And once that debt is gone, that's more cash flow that's coming into your household. In this example here, we take $1,000 and we apply it to the first debt, which is a car payment of $545. You have a balance of $17,000. So we send the bank $1,545 every single month. In 12 months, the car note is paid off. Now we have $1,500 and $1,545 of cash flow available to now apply towards debt. Add that to the $200 you were sending to Visa, in which the person had an $8,000 balance. So now we're sending $1,745 every month to Visa. In five months, that credit card is paid off. Now we have $1,745 of cash flow to apply to a mortgage. Instead of sending $1,200 a month to the mortgage, we send $2,945 a month to the mortgage company. In 68 months, that $200,000 mortgage is paid off. So we've now freed up $2,945. Now, more importantly, we would have paid off $225,000 of debt in just 85 months. As importantly, saved $352,000 of payment and interest by paying it off early. So in essence, you almost made $352,000 by shifting those tax dollars and putting that money to work for you by eliminating your debt faster. Now you're debt-free. Now let's use the fifth and final principle, which is my favorite. It's called cash, asset cash. That's when you're building that passive income. So in this example, we turn $2,945 a month in 10 years into over half a million dollars of cash. In 15 years, over a million dollars in cash. Now you're debt-free, so that's debt-free plus a million dollars in your investment account. Now, in this example, we put that money into the market. You could use that same money, saved it up for the year, and took $35,000 and invested into a rental property and did that same thing each year for 10, 15 years. Now you have a real estate portfolio. What if that real estate portfolio gave you a positive cash flow of $6,000 a month, of $5,000 a month, enough to give you that $50,000 a year that you need. Now you're free. Now you're able to retire. And then with your time, you do what you want to do. See, there's no question that passive income 
is the most essential part of the strategy, and it's the ultimate goal. That's taking your dollars and putting those dollars into assets like stocks, bonds, real estate, residual-based businesses, and you watch those dollars grow. Everybody desires or needs passive income, so we empower our associates to be able to attain personal financial success by helping them build that passive income. Now, you can get all this. You can get started tonight, not tomorrow, tonight, for as well as $34.95. That $34.95 is going to get you a personalized website, as I explained before. It's going to get you our world-class business system, as well as our financial success membership. I already told you the membership comes with the income shifting strategy, the cash flow manager software to help you audit proof your records, ID theft protection, free and discount legal services, our credit education uh, system, as well as valuable tax benefits, and of course, discount travel and corporate perks. So you get all of this for just $34.95. That's you get to operate and maintain a business for $1.17 a day. $1.17 a day gives you the ability to put $200 to $800 back in your paycheck. Now, let's say it's only $200. What the person that invited you out is telling you is that they have $200 sitting here on the counter. If you give them $35, they will give you $200. Come back next month, they have the $200 sitting there. You give them $35. They're going to give you $200. How many months, how many years would you do that? Every single month, year after year after year. So you keep your business active for $34.95 $34 a month. We empower you with the tools that you need. We give you support and leadership and training that you need to grow and build a successful business to utilize our income shifting strategy. See, day one, as soon as you get involved in business, we're going to help you adjust your W-4. And by your next pay period, you would have shifted some valuable tax dollars back into your paycheck. We're going to help you immediately set up your cash flow manager software so you can begin capturing these expenses that were once part of your lifestyle but now become business expenses. We're going to immediately help you set up what we call our cash flow strategist which now tells you the importance of setting up an emergency fund, helps you with budgeting, helps you put together a full and detailed financial investment strategy to help you improve your financial blueprint. You'll get access to our financial workshops, which teach you what cash equivalents are, what stocks are, what bonds are, not so we can sell them to you, but so you become an informed investor a knowledgeable investor. So when you do sit down in front of a financial planner, they can't sell you a bill of goods. They have to talk to you like you're knowledgeable, you're financially literate, which you will be. So we do all of this for you. We support you in all this for just $34.95. Here's what we ask of you. Be coachable. Allow us to help you. Allow us to teach you how to apply our turnkey system that will allow you to help other people Get this knowledge. See, the reason so many people get crushed by those four obstacles is because they don't have access to the information that you just was given tonight. So we want you to help us share this information with thousands of people all over this country so they can increase their take-home pay, so they can begin to eliminate their debt, so they can to put more money to max out their 401Ks, 403Bs, so they can take some of their business income and set up steps and simple IRAs so they can do the same principles that business owners can do. They use the same principles that the wealthy can do, that from this point on, future generations won't start from ground zero. They start from where you left off at building the business, and that your children start from there. They put 20 years into it, and that your grandbabies start from there. They start from ground, from ground 60 years of building. They don't have their parents work for 40 years, and then now they start from ground zero and work 40 years, and their children start from ground zero and work 40 years. We changed the whole paradigm around, and now families are accessing as much of that $97 trillion as they like, and they're finding themselves personally, financially successful.
and they're teaching and using these same principles. So, again, I want to thank all of our guests for taking time out of their or valuable time outside of the evening to listen to this information, for, for honoring their friends and, and, again, showing up and getting this information. And I'm going to answer, do we going to do everything we can to answer all of your questions. And after you make the decision to come and business with us, allow me to be the first one to welcome you to the My Econ family. So I'm going to put this in, I'm going to put this in um, Q&A mode and then answer any questions that any of our guests have.